trying to cut this tree down in the middle. It's like we'll put a hammock right there. I myself am not a master lumberjack, so I did what any aspiring lumberjack would do and took my question to YouTube. After some perusing, I figured out the general methods that real lumberjacks use to cut down trees. <laughs> this is going to get caught on something. In order to fell a tree in a desired direction, breakage and rotation must be initiated in the tree. The appropriate precautions must also be taken to eliminate destruction of nearby valuable items and or human. To initiate the process, a notch is cut in the side of the tree in the desired falling direction. This notch causes torque at the pivot point towards the falling direction. An additional force in order to cause a greater net torque is tension to a higher point in the tree than the rotating point. Managing the torque is very important since the original state of the tree is static with only potential energy and no kinetic energy. Once the notch is created, the angle phi from the torque causes the potential energy of the tree to translate to kinetic energy. After initiating the net torque from the felling direction, an additional cut is made to the opposite side of the first knot. At this point, the counter torque from the roots of the tree is eliminated, and the rigid arm, the tree, will want to fall. Once the potential energy is released, the kinetic energy, which is angular momentum, increases until it comes in contact with the ground, at which point the ground exerts a normal force, stopping the rotation. In English, first cut a notch in the side of the tree of the direction you want the tree to fall. Then cut into the opposite side and watch the tree fall. Done that X, it would have fallen that way. We ended up cutting the tree in two parts because we weren't sure how far it was going to fall. And then we applied the same process to the second half to cut that part down. So now we're going to put a hammock over there. <laughs> <laughs>